So here we are in the room dedicated to the Dandini family. The Dandini family plays a major role in the art scene of Florence throughout the entire Baroque era, from 1620 until the mid-1700s. Cesare Dandini is the first of several Florentine painters of this family who work on commissions for the Medici and other prominent patrons in the city. Cesare's younger brother, Vincenzo, teaches his own son, Pietro or Pierre, who in turn instructs his sons, Ottaviano and Vincenzo, artists active in noble residences, churches and convents in and beyond Tuscany. The only drawing in the exhibition is a wonderful study in red and black pencil, dating from the 1690s, and it was done by Pietro Dandini. It is titled The Glorification of the Corsini Family and serves as preparation for a ceiling painting in the Palazzo Corsini on the Arno River in Florence. It depicts the four seasons and father time. The coat of arms of the Corsini family, who were one of the leading Florentine families, is prominent and central to the composition. There's an angel holding an overflowing cornucopia, indicating bounty and the future successes of the Corsinis. The drawing is a nice example of the practice of disegno, the use of sketches and studies in preparation for paintings that characterizes Florentine art of the Seicento. St. Mark, the evangelist, is a powerful figure in Christianity as a founder of the Christian church in Alexandria, Egypt. He is the author of the Gospels according to Mark in the Bible. And in this painting, set in an original 17th century frame, St. Mark is virtually life-size, carrying his Gospels and pointing to the way of truth. He is accompanied by his symbolic companion, the winged lion. The picture is one of the highlights from the Haukul collection and a personal favorite of the collector, Sir Mark Haukul, which I understand very well for its quality, and of course the sitter being his namesake. The pair of octagonal Grand Tour paintings, signed by Cesare Dandini of St. Dorothea and St. Catherine, first came to my attention in 1979 when they were exhibited at the Royal Academy in London, and then again in Cambridge, England at the Fitzwilliam Museum. To my welcome surprise, they were sold from the English Country House collection of Baron Dashwood, where they had been owned for over 200 years. I was the underbidder for the pair in 1986 when Baron Dashwood sold the paintings to a friend of mine, Victoria Press, who proudly displayed them at her homes in Venice and London. When she passed, her estate sold them at a private house sale. After searching for a pair of historic Grand Tour paintings, I was successful in becoming the high auction telephone bidder at 5 a.m. in the morning in Houston, Texas on November 18, 2015. At last, after 36 years of following these magnificent paintings, finally they joined my collection. I could not be more thrilled. Thank you. 